People who live and work in that neighborhood. Liz, it's still not clear who did the shooting or if they're still alive. All we know from police at this point is that no suspect is in custody. Now, in front of this home, people have been laying flowers and lighting candles to pay their respects to the four people who were killed. We did just get surveillance video of the scene from a nearby business. The owner of Coffee Beer says this shows the first police arriving on 42nd Avenue. He says this has shaken the tight knit neighborhood. They closed shop yesterday. As a result um, of not only the police taping, but just the overwhelming emotions on our our team um, and our neighbors and the neighborhood in general we closed yesterday the scariest thing is not knowing and during the press conference yesterday the police admitted that they don't know who who's perpetrated this yet who's done it at this house where neighbors say the shooting happened we also saw what looked like bullet holes and evidence markers According to police, if these deaths are ruled homicides, along with the shooting from this morning, there will now be 42 homicides so far this year, all but nine of those from gunshots. They say there have been a total of approximately 474 shootings for the year so far. People here at the scene today and also several neighbors tell me that one of the people who lived in this home did have a young daughter, but they all tell me that daughter was not at the home when the shooting happened. Live in Southeast Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. Thanks for that update.